What's going on everyone, Juan Valdez here and today I wanted to make this video going over what actually separates those that are successful within dropshipping compared to those people that aren't and see absolutely no results. So before I actually get right into the video, if you've seen some of my previous videos, you guys know that every single month I make at least one video showing you guys the results for the month and how my e-commerce and dropshipping business is doing. I'm at about 55K. Now I haven't been too focused honestly on my e-commerce store, just had my team running it the whole time. So that's why it really hasn't, we haven't really scaled it up to the next level because we've been working on some other projects, me and my business partner Samir. Still, everything has been running. Of course, we have all systems in place and that's why we've been able to consistently generate 50 to 80 grand every single month for like the past four to five months or so literally all on autopilot like we've barely done any work on e-commerce on our stores itself uh, we've been testing other strategies and things like that with other stores also but for this main store that we have there hasn't been much work that has gone into it now obviously there's has to be some things that I'm doing right to consistently generate these kind of results. So obviously I'm here to help you guys out and hopefully help you guys be able to produce those kind of results as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share my screen here and we'll kind of just get right into it. Some of you guys are busy, so I'm just gonna cut right to the chase. Uh, what separates successful drop shippers versus people that are not successful? I forgot to leave the right successful here, but no big deal. People that are not successful drop shipping. So some of the things that I see within people that aren't successful is that they approach drop shipping as a get rich quick scheme. Now, this is a huge mistake because when you approach any opportunity as a get rich quick scheme what happens is as soon as you see ad adversity and you have any kind of problems and you don't see results right away well automatically the first thing you want to do is just quit and try something else and so what's going on is that people are setting this expectation that coming into drop shipping is like set up a Shopify store you're gonna find a product on AliExpress run an ad or an Instagram shout out and you're gonna get results overnight and that's not how easy it actually is. It does take actual work to be put in to actually see results. This is the number one thing that I see for sure. Like people coming in thinking they're gonna just make money overnight. For those of you guys that are watching, if you're planning on getting into drop shipping, make sure you guys aren't seeing this as like some kind of get rich quick scheme. There is a lot of work that goes into play. And so obviously I want to make sure you guys know that. The next thing is they don't see value in learning the skill sets that it takes to run a successful e-commerce business, right? Now a lot of you guys have heard me probably say this multiple times and I want to hammer this home. The skill sets that it takes to run an e-commerce business are very valuable skill sets. Right now, one of the things we've been working on the side, me and my business partner, is launching our own product, right? Our own private label product where we're gonna brand and you know make more of a brand out of a certain product, right? And push it with influencers and all these different things, but also like really focus a lot more on our own kind of product, right? Rather than just drop shipping products. And that's what a lot of the bigger e-commerce people are doing. That's something that obviously we wanna do. So we're gonna be spending a lot more time doing that as well but we're still gonna be running our stores. Because we have the skill sets that it takes to sell other people's products, like from AliExpress, well, now those same skill sets we can just apply and sell our own product. Well, now we can make more profit than we're making on our dropshipping store. Once we have our brand built around this product, we're gonna be able to charge a lot more like bigger brands do. Obviously, that's the power of branding. That's like the bigger picture where the value really comes in because once you get these skill sets down, any single product or service that you ever wanna market or launch, well, you're gonna be able to do it because you have the skill sets that it takes to sell a product, right? Obviously, you guys are getting started with dropshipping, so with dropshipping, you're selling other people's products. You could then do the same thing with your products. For those of you guys that wanna be entrepreneurs and be in the business world, when it comes to business, there's two skill sets that every single business needs. Every single business needs sales and it needs marketing. Learning the skill sets that it takes sort of an e-commerce business, you're learning a lot more marketing, I would say, but you're learning sales as well because within marketing, you have to learn what kind of things make people wanna buy things. And so you're able to transition that into like actual sales and sales skills. There's real value between learning these actual skill sets. So I want you guys to understand that. And people that aren't successful, they don't really see the value within that and they end up giving up and trying something else that involves not learning these valuable skill sets. Uh, the next thing that I see is people get discouraged after testing two or three products or ads. That's one thing that will turn a lot of people off and make you guys not be successful. And the reason why is because the name of the game within dropshipping is to find one successful product and really scale it to as high as you can. And we've consecutively been able to generate almost all of our results with 
only a few products. I would say a majority of people in the drop shipping space know this. Usually every single drop shipping store is goes by the 80-20 rule where 80% of all the revenue is from one product and the other 20% are from other products. If the name of the game is to find one product that you can scale and you can have that product running for like whatever, four to six months, that's the average lifespan of a actual product when it's doing really well. From there, obviously you have to find other products, but if the process is to find one product and then scale and run it and possibly generate even six figures for four to six months, and then find another product and do the same thing and keep doing that, why wouldn't you be testing more than just two to three products or ads to try to get results? Even if you test 10 to 20 products, if you find one winner, it's usually more than worth it than the last experiments that you've ran, right? And the reason why is because obviously you're able to generate a lot more profits than what you've actually spent testing. And so for me, I've seen that, we have seen, me and my business partner Samir have found that no matter how many products we test, as long as we find a winner, we're always able to make up for what we spent on testing, like every single time. And the last thing is you know, what I see between the people that aren't successful compared to those that are, is that they usually aren't willing to adapt to changes within the marketplace. You know, people are getting used to seeing like regular retail offers and free plus shipping offers. So yeah, I share with you guys that you can test other different offers like buy one get one free buy this product get the same product free or buy one get one 50 percent offer just all these different kinds of offers if you know that everybody is doing free plus shipping and retail offers and some people are trying out these different offers like buy one get one offers and they're starting to see results with it well why wouldn't you be open to testing those offers out as well and one of the things i see people doing that don't see results in drop shipping is not being open to testing different things that's going on in the marketplace. And if you're not adapting to the marketplace, well, you're gonna get left behind and you need to be able to always adapt because there's always gonna be things that end up working better at different points in time. To kind of transition into what kind of things I see that successful drop shippers do or the kind of mindset they have is that they see drop shipping as an actual business. When it comes into drop shipping, like you have to know that it's gonna take hard work. Like you're gonna have to learn all the parts of drop shipping, which is like setting up a store how to do product and market research and I don't mean just looking up products on Aliexpress and I don't mean just like putting together a regular Shopify store with like a few different apps like finding out what kind of things actually make your store convert finding other resources to use to find hot and trending products these are the things that we actually teach our students inside of the P2P accelerator that's actually what I've been working on the last couple days is me and my business partner have actually relaunched our P2P dropshipping accelerator which is where we show anybody uh, how they can start running an e-commerce business from A to Z everything from store creation all the way to how to launch an ad to how to set up email marketing for the store and how to even automate and hire a team so that's what i've been working on for the last couple days that's why i haven't been as active on youtube people that come in seeing dropshipping as an actual business these are the people that are going to see results because again learning all those different things apart from store creation and product research and how to set up marketing campaigns, how to do email marketing, how to hire a team and being able to outsource. All those different things are again, skill sets that you can then use for any other products or service that you have. But also if you wanna consult other business owners or other people, skill sets that you can help them with, right? So obviously the more skill sets that you have, the more valuable you become. People that see dropshipping as the actual business that it is, once you know that you're going into an actual business and you know that you're gonna learn skill sets from the actual business, but you're also gonna be able to produce revenue and you have income for yourself. Well, you go into it a different mindset, right? You go through any kind of adversities and you keep hustling even when things aren't going your way. And so it's huge that, you know, for those of you guys that actually wanna be successful, you actually do this. And I kinda of already went through this. Again, successful job shippers, they do see the value of learning these skill sets because when I tell you guys that the skill sets that I've learned of what it takes to run a successful e-commerce business have been the most valuable skill sets I've learned up to date, I'm not lying you guys, like it has been like super valuable. Now obviously there's a lot more valuable skills, but for those of you guys that wanna run an online business, like you're gonna to need to learn all these skill sets hands down. Successful dropshippers, I usually see that they do test as much as they can, right? They test out different things in their store. They test out different ways to do product research, right? I'm consistently learning different ways to find hot and trending products and it's absolutely insane because before I didn't even know a lot of these different methods that you can actually use to find hot and trending products, right? Everybody thinks just going on Express, filter it out by orders and things like that, but there really is a lot more ways you can do it. A lot of the people that I see that are getting success within e-commerce and dropshipping, they're testing different things with in every single area of their e-commerce business, right? They're testing different things within store creation, they're testing different things within finding hot and trending products, they're testing different things within marketing, they're testing different things within email marketing. 
outsourcing, all these different things. And the person that tests the most obviously is gonna have a much better chance of seeing results compared to somebody else that doesn't test as much. One of the last traits I see within people that are successful within the dropshipping space is that they're always looking forward to adapting changes within the marketplace, right? This is something that I see very often. Usually whenever there's new different strategies coming out or different things coming into place. In our Facebook group that we have for our P2P dropshipping accelerator students, we see a lot of people that have seen results they're always wanting to know like, how can I implement this? Like as soon as that new Facebook change came out with like different policies and things like that, well, they wanted to know right away, like how can they overcome it? What kind of things should they look out? And so they're actively doing that where they're actively trying to stay ahead of the game. And that's for sure what separates those people that are successful in drop shipping compared to those people that aren't. Now, for those of you guys that do want to be successful in drop shipping, just some actionable things you guys can you know, take away from this video, besides the things we already went over is, you know, stay up to date in the industry, right? You wanna make sure you're learning from every single aspect in the industry, right? So you can sign up for different blogs, different email lists, and email lists from different trade shows. That's huge because if you can get on email lists for trade shows, you can usually see products before they even come out into the marketplace. Or even attending trade shows, I actually was speaking to a business partner and he just informed me that he's gonna be going to China to actually look at some of the trade shows that are going on where they actually announce products before they even come into the marketplace right and that's obviously huge because if you can see it in person you're seeing it before the products even hit the internet and so that's obviously huge and so I'm personally considering going to China to one of these trade shows so I can get a head start and start seeing like what the next successful products will be like right like what potential products can be the next big winners i want to obviously be ahead of the game so that's something that i'm going to do personally so you want to make sure you want to be willing to put in the work when i first got started into e-commerce and drop shipping i'm telling you guys like i spent all day day in and day out trying to figure things out right and like testing and doing all these different things and i would say for the first two and a half months like me and my business partner were only focusing on e-commerce and drop shipping and now obviously since we spent that time focusing on building the business now we spend less time on the business and unlike a job Job, right in the job you go in and it's the opposite right you spend time working making money but obviously if you want to make more money you have to work more with, with e-commerce it's worth putting in the work because once you put in that work at first later on you end up working less and making more money so it's like a win-win the last thing is you want to consistently keep learning and test the new products and marketing strategies because there's always going to be new things that work better than others and of course I'm going to do my best to keep you guys completely updated on all the different things that I'm trying out and that I'm seeing other people have success with so for those of you guys that want to get more information about the p2p drop shipping accelerator that i put together with my business partner samir there's going to be a link below where you guys can check out this absolutely free training where we show you guys exactly how we went from doing door-to-door -door sales to having one of our biggest months in e-commerce and drops we've been doing over 200 grand and go over the kind of the blueprint that we have now again i'm not saying this is like a get rich quick scheme or it's like guaranteed results or like this is like 100 percent going to work for you like if you come in with the wrong mindset or if you already have the wrong mindset and you're not willing to put in the work or do any of the things that we went over, then don't even bother because it's not gonna work out. I'm just being super transparent. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, I would appreciate if you drop a like. Of course, if you have any questions, make sure you drop them in the comments below. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that subscribe button, join the VFAM, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.